Welcome to episode 45, Recycling is Important. Please be sure closed captioning is on to better understand what I am saying. You know, I come up with these ideas sometimes and I don't even know if they are just me fantasizing that I am inventing something or whether they are legitimate marketing ideas or actual inventions. So I'm going to tell you one of these ideas now and if it has never been used before I drafted this blog episode but in the future you see it being used. Just remember, I was the one who first come with the idea. Okay, but before I get to what I thought was a potentially brilliant marketing idea for hand soaps, I'll start off by saying that for a variety of reasons, I don't like soaps that seem to cling to my skin. Whether it's a hand soap or bad soap, I tend not to like soaps that leave a residue or, or strong scent on my skin. Of course, there are exceptions. Like a bath wash I bought recently at a store in the heart of Brooklyn's Caribbean neighborhood. I had to go back and get a couple more bottles for myself and as a gift. But back to the idea. This particular morning, I got in a bit late and went to wash my hands with this new hand soap I'd bought the day before. After a bit, the thought came to me that it was taking me quite a long time to wash the residue of the soap from my hands. So, weirdly, in a way, I then asked myself whether there was any redeeming quality in how long it was taking me to wash the residue of my skin. It seemed the soap was causing me to waste time and water. Could there be a benefit to the amount of time it took to wash the soap residue off my hands? And so I thought that of this idea where to proper, properly clean your hands in general or from something specific, a marketing pitch for a brand could be that when the soap residue washes completely from your hands, your hands are clean. Of course, it could be something specific you are washing from your hands and it doesn't necessarily have to be soap that you are using. It could be some special fluid. The idea though is that you market the product by saying that the time it takes for you to wash a product from your hands is the time it takes to wash, wash off whatever you were cleaning from your hands. Is this a new and legitimate marketing idea? I guess you have to check. But then I thought, I'm wasting time and water. Was the time loss worth it? Was the amount of water lost worth it? Hmm. Then I further asked myself, does it matter? The key is that we must balance between the risks of what you lose if you don't clean and what you lose in resources as you clean. Some resources are not infinite. You have to use of such to have use of such resources for as long as possible. We have to be able to reuse them. Internal joke. Does this mean I'm going to have to recycle some of my blog episodes?